Today's a Saturday, um, little Aiden's at his dad's, so I have time to myself. Honestly, the reason why I'm looking at this is because yesterday I started watching True Beauty. I actually downloaded Vicky, um, the app where you watch it, and I paid for the subscription, so there's no adverts or anything. I think it's like £3.50 a month, and there's a lot of dramas on there, and I've already added so many to my kind of like watch list i used to be so into k-dramas and k-pop like in my 20s when i had more time i would literally be on top of it i would be like every single song that was released every drama that was released i'd watch it or i'd at least like see if i liked it but nowadays i kind of like i'm aware of what's popular and like what's what everyone likes but i don't have the time to like sit down and binge watch stuff um but like yesterday because it's the first time in a while that um, i've been on my own to ha um, kind of have some me time i started watching true beauty oh my god i am like halfway through it already it's been one day i don't want it to end and also every time she goes through the makeup transformation part it makes me want to get up and put makeup on because i feel like what she's going through is so relatable to girls of all ages especially if you're a makeup wearer and you wear it every day it's like that kind of confidence after putting on makeup to pre-makeup i know that um i'm not saying that you need makeup to be confident or beautiful but there's no denying that when a woman puts on whatever she wants it could be just an eyeball it could be just a lipstick it could be anything that the confidence just goes like that and honestly it just makes me want to put makeup on so today i'm actually filming a tiktok um video because obviously i've been watching it i've been googling and i realized that there's a tiktok challenge called true beauty challenge which is basically a makeup transformation and i feel like I look quite different with makeup on like not a massive difference that people don't recognize me but I feel like I am two people when I put makeup on uh, someone actually said to me before that when I don't have makeup on and when I have makeup on I am two different people and when I don't have makeup on I'm kind of like my goofy kind of like at home self and then when I have my makeup on I become this kind of like confident kind of like boss bitch vibe <laughs> kind of vibe like I, I, can't, I actually kind of agree with that because uh, when I've got makeup on I feel like I can conquer the world when I don't have makeup on I feel like I just want to be at home be myself kind of like you know I feel, I feel like a lot of women and girls will be able to relate to what's going on in true beauty like when I'm dressed like this I just want to sit on the sofa with my legs up and have a cup of tea and have all the snacks in my cupboard but when I have makeup on I feel like I want to go out and about I want to go meet friends and you know it's that kind of vibe so I'm um, filming the TikTok part right now it's quite early in the morning this is how motivated I am I woke up and I carried on watching it from where I left off last night before I went to sleep and I was like you know what I need to do makeup I just want to do makeup, I've got nowhere to go, but I just want to do makeup. <laughs> I've just finished filming my little TikTok video, still watching True Beauty, haven't finished it yet. But this is the makeup that I went for, it's very Korean, glowy, natural, pale, orangey, pinky, corally eyes a lot of blush it's not coming across on camera actually but i have a lot of blush on to the point where in real life i look a bit like a baboon's ass um it's really glow i used a cream blush i used the stiller brush brush and um, blush in jabera jabera i'm um, still a color convertible convertible color 
this really nice pinky rose color on there and then i did a korean gradient lip i haven't done a korean gradient lip in a long time it was it's actually so nice to do i think it suits me um and then my hair i just used the air wrap to give it a bit of texture movement a bit of waves and um, my hair's blonde so it doesn't really go with um the character because she, obviously she's got like that brown black hair but we made it work and i actually feel like every time i do korean style makeup i feel like i looked five years younger i actually feel like i look really young right now like in my 20s <laughs> um so yeah that's what i did um, i'm just gonna sit down and edit coffee don't know what she's seeing out the window she's just looking out the window it might be like a big dog or something um it's now 1 p.m and i haven't eaten yet so after i've done all that i'm gonna carry on watching true beauty i'm gonna have a bit of surfer time i promised myself that this weekend because it's the first weekend in a while that i've had a bit of time to myself i'm really gonna like slow down and chill out obviously i'm still gonna be vlogging but to me vlogging is it's not stressful or anything so yeah and i also got a new massage pillow from boots so i was collecting all of my boots points and i was like I don't want to waste it on random stuff so I've been collecting boots points for a long time and then I saw this massage gel. so basically I usually wake up with neck pain or shoulder pain and I've changed so many pillows like lots and lots of pillows and none of them have ever been right but then the one that I'm on now is actually fine it doesn't hurt my neck or anything but sometimes I just get neck pain and shoulder pain I don't know if it's from the computer or just general like everyday shoulder and neck pain and it gives me headaches like i quite often get headaches throughout the day and i just saw it somebody was using it last night i can't remember who um but then i saw the qvc video on youtube and then i was like i was sold and then i saw that boots had it and there was um one in my local area as well so i used my points to um get it i picked it up this morning so hopefully that will make my sh neck and shoulders feel a bit better um yeah because sometimes it just you know i'd rather not it just gives me a unnecessary headache when i've got stuff to do so if i just bring you guys closer you can probably see it a lot better um for the eyeshadow i actually used a blusher um so it's from this pony palette that i've had for a while it's basically a blusher contour and highlighter palette um but i used this blusher for my eyes um it's like the perfect korean coral orange kind of shade and then i contoured my nose quite heavily because obviously they have like more slimmer noses so i had to contour my nose and then um contouring i've kept it to a minimum eyebrows kept it quite light and natural uh yeah this is the neck pillar i was talking about it's by her medics um let me just put it on here i'm gonna sit on it now so basically turn it on and then it does that whoa <laughs> let me try it oh my god guys this is good really getting into the neck area i feel like you need to adjust it to oh yeah i feel like you need to adjust it to really get in there deep oh my god this is heaven just rearranging my t-shirt drawers so basically i've got t-shirts undergarments such as heat tech and body warmers and then nice tops um i've done the t-shirts already this makes me so happy look at that it's so nice and organized now and i can see every single t-shirt that i have before it was folded but it wasn't 
um, upright like this it was kind of like flat so I still had to dig to find what I wanted and now I can see everything all in one go yay good morning guys today's a Sunday um, I'm basically just making some bolognese what I like to do is make my bolognese and then leave it on the hob and then come back to it when I want to eat it and make my pasta then I love it when bolognese is not fresh if that can make any sense i feel like the longer you boil it the more yummy it is and um so i like to boil it uh, make my bolognese leave it in the pan and then when i want to eat it heat it up again and i feel like that is the best way to eat bolognese i also love um leftover bolognese as well oh, i just i just love it because i feel like the meat takes in more of the flavour and it's just yummier the longer you leave it or the longer you boil it the yummier it is so I have some lean beef steak mince 5% fat I bought this sauce this is a tomato and basil pasta sauce from the fresh pasta um, fridge and then I have some sweet corn and peas which I'll pop in a garlic and a onion it's really basic i'm sure a lot of you guys know how to make bolognese so onion and garlic in and then when it's nice and aromatic beef in nice and brown um then i put the peas and sweet corn in and then the sauce and then i like to boil it for at least like 20 minutes so i saw this hack on tiktok it's basically cutting the garlic bulb like that and um, that way patting it and then apparently all of the garlic cloves just come out you don't have to peel it so i'm going to try that today hoping i don't chop my fingers off yeah oh actually that, that's easier than i thought so in half like that and then you literally just pat it like whack it like asian style and apparently all of the garlic cloves should come out uh <laughs> that didn't work she literally lifted it up and then all of her garlic cloves were on the um, chopping board. Clearly not a thing that works for everyone. I still have to peel it. Like what the hell. I just wasted my garlic because I actually didn't need all of this garlic. But anyways, I'm going to chop it up and then put it in the fridge. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, guys. That did not work at all and I whacked it hard as well I'm so mad good morning guys I am gonna test the beauty products that I got yesterday um, like the Korean ones so I really want to test this again haven't used this in so long i really want to try the contouring powder and then especially the eyeshadow palette because you know these colors are very me like burgundy orangey and then um my nude lip which i already have to be honest this is just my backup um my eyebrows look like they've got a little bit of tint on because um about three or four days ago i used the maybelline tattoo brow i put it on my instagram so if you want to see how this performs check out my instagram i did a makeup reel um and it's day four and i've still got a little bit of tint left which i'm quite surprised because it on the box it said two to three days and today is like day four so i'm just like it's actually pretty good Oh, I just kind of lost my voice. Um, it's snowing outside, so I feel so cursy and nice and warm, like being indoors. I've got this hoodie on, which I absolutely love. I'll link it down below. The collar just stands up so nicely. I hate it when hoodies have like a floppy hood. This one is just perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup, just for testing purposes. I'm not actually going anywhere, so I'm not going to do a full face of makeup. I just want to try the things that I mentioned. So I might put a bit of concealer on, BB powder, then I'll set it with some powder, eyeshadow, um, leave my eyeliners and eyebrow 
our product quite mi minimal today well not quite like very minimal today so on goes my bb cream i'm just gonna use my fingers it's actually a lot more thin than i remember i think it's just because i'm so used to using the e-cosmetics cc cream that's quite thick Oh my god, it's actually really nice. I think I'm gonna do another pump. It's very light. Um, it's on my forehead. And it's so quick and easy to blend out and use. Like this is definitely one of those makeup products that you wanna use when you're in a rush or you need to get ready quickly in the morning. It literally looks like I don't have anything on. It's it's that perfect Korean glass skin kind of effortless flawless skin without looking like you've got makeup on. So I'm just gonna put some down here to blend it in with my neck. Can you see that guys? It's not obvious that I have makeup on. It's actually more thin than my It Cosmetic CC cream. I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on. This is by the, uh, another Korean brand. This is the Sam. I feel like this vlog is just all about Korean stuff. I should have made Korean food. <laughs> um, it's about K-drama, Korean makeup. So, this concealer is really good. I think it's really cheap. I think it's less than £5, this concealer. Um, I got it on Yes Style as well, and it's so good for my concealer. I'm just gonna pat it in with my fingers, I'm not gonna use a brush yet. I'm gonna pat it in so it looks more natural because the heat from the finger gives it a more natural look. When you go in straight with a brush, it's more dense, so it's more full coverage. But today, I just want to look normal like I'm not wearing any makeup this concealer is really good for under eyes because it's really thin and it's not cakey but it has really good coverage I'm pretty sure a lot of you have tried it from last time because I remember mentioning it in my video and then so many of you was like oh I've got it and I've got the concealer that you mentioned and I love it so as you can see it's really helped to cover my dark circles and my blemishes without looking cakey so I've just used the moonshot eyeshadow palette it's actually so pretty it's got the most perfect colours ever I used three different colours so I used um, these top two and then I used a little bit of the dark on the outer corners and inner corners and then I used this shimmer all over and then I also used my wet and wild felt tip liner in brown uh, so it's a little bit more softer and then just put some mascara on and it looks so pretty I really like it and I also have the contouring powder on as you can tell it's very subtle and I really like that because for a everyday kind of look um, it's perfect you can build it up definitely um, there was a point where I applied a little bit too much on my temples and I had to blend it out so you can definitely build it up and make it a little bit more stronger uh, but yeah I love this makeup I'm just really getting back into Korean makeup I feel like I fell off the bandwagon but it's popular for a reason <laughs> watching true beauty I watched that in two days <laughs> it's actually really good it's definitely worth a watch it's not one of my most favorite 
um, dramas of all time, like Korean dramas, but it is worth a watch and it is good. Um, now I'm going to start watching The Penthouse, which I've heard a lot about. And I feel like The Penthouse would be more of what I normally watch in terms of Korean dramas. Um, more kind of like thriller, intense, more mature. Um, True Beauty was definitely a good watch, but it was very cute and very... Um, because they're playing teenage roles, um, it felt a little bit young to me, even though I really did enjoy it and obviously I watched it in two days. It is good, it's definitely worth a watch. But I'm really looking forward to watching The Penthouse now and I think I'm going to finish this vlog here. Even though it's only like 2pm, I just want to like get into my PJs. I might get into bed actually because um, I need to do a clean of the bathrooms and then after that I just want to like chill and have a really nice evening just doing nothing so i think i'm gonna get into bed and watch penthouse so i'll see you in my next vlog <laughs>